Only past you said it's not the microbe, it's the terrain. Do you know what that means? Do you know what the terrain means? It's not the North Face. It's not tundra. Terrain is the land, you know, that these little creepy crawly things walk on. You know, that's terrain. Terra! Now, I'll just let you see Yuji in action as he talks. Yuji Krishnamurti, he's like, you know, I like him, I don't know. You like him or don't like him, it doesn't matter, he's, he's interesting. Now, I want to talk about what I've witnessed in my lifetime. Now, everything depends on milestones, you know, that milestones, right? So I was around, you know, 1981 is my era because that's right when I was going from around 12 to 13. And that's a pretty monumental time for a kid, for a, especially a smart one. I was smart until I drank a lot of beer. But I was considered smart for a short period of time before my parents you know, succumb to the culture and and uh, the deep throat. My dad, my mom said my dad was never the same after deep throat came in. They they came to Canada and we delved right in to camping. My dad got a cowboy hat and we just did the the seventies lifestyle. It was exactly like the Brady Bunch or the Partridge Family. I, I mean, I had the same bike as Bobby had and. Everything looked the same, you know, Adam-12, I thought all cops were like Adam-12, and I had a crush on each one of them for a little while. And so these are the things we grew up with, and thank God for Gilligan's Island. I mean, we took it for granted, but now it's like, this is genius. Gilligan's Island is genius. Now, what I want to do is talk about what I saw, just two things. The psychology of investment, the Brazilian... And what else have we got here? 90s. The 90s. What the fuck happened with the 90s? But I'll tell you what happened. You know, it's weird because every time I, I came of a certain age, then something disappeared that I really would have enjoyed. That would have been night clubbing. So when the 90s came around, when I really kind of felt like going to nightclubs, because I went through many different phases and maybe backwards, but anyways, the 90s came around, and you'd go to a nightclub in Vancouver, and there would be a long lineup around, and you'd wait for 45 minutes to get into this giant nightclub. Guess what? When you got in there, it was half empty. Nobody was in there. What the hell happened there? Why? Would, why? And now that I see this, this is a contrived situation. What else happened in the 90s was the removal of pubic hair um, and the introduction of dildo parties, like Tupperware parties. So this is why men hate women now, and women are disgusting, because they waited in line for Harry Potter books for their kids. Now the removal of pubic hair, pubic hair is antibacterial. It is an antibacterial, not only that, but it's a climate, uh, a, a climate regulator. All your pubic hair, whether it's under your arm, arms or in that region, is a climate, a climate adjustment. So if you understand what that means, um, medicine, it, Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, it's all about, it's all about um, your body's like a world and you've got climate and you don't want extremes because extremes lower your immune system. Not only that, but the hairs, even on your legs, they regulate the function of your, your, your pituitary gland has got to float in your brain. And when you re remove the hairs on your body, um, you're actually getting rid of the, the pituitary and all of your glandular systems that are very delicate. Think about a cat and its whiskers, how he uses those whiskers to determine what kind of a hole he can shoot through if something's chasing him, and how fat he is, how small he is. We have the same technology with our eyebrows, with our hair, with our pubic hair. 
This is all protective. This is all antibacterial. When you cut it, and, and you know, okay, it, it, it makes people itchy. Now, you got here the psychology of investment. So when you get women in the 90s starting to remove all their hair, it costs money to get this. But remember there was that stupid movie and that woman said to Jennifer Addison, if you want to get your husband back, get a Brazilian, like rip all the hair out. What the fuck kind of social conditioning is this? There's no such thing as economy anymore. This is social conditioning. You can forget about advertising. Advertising is nothing more than social conditioning. We are not in a time when they're trying to make money above. Believe me, if that was the case, we wouldn't be seeing the terrain of ugly. And we are seeing the terrain of hideous humans that don't, don't deserve to walk the earth any more, like even an earthworm is more attractive than the average person today. They are pale, they're covered in sunscreen. Now, my point is, let's get back to the pedophilia epidemic, the absolute epidemic. Well, how did that slowly trickle in? Well, the removal of pubic hair is a suggestion of prepubescence when there is no hair on a child. So when people are used to, through pornography, seeing hairless, hairless genitalia, that immediately smacks of pre, prepubescent, too young to have children, too young to produce children and look after children and hunt. So we have got an entire generation of people who are backwards, a thousand percent backwards. So as, as Pasteur said, it's not the microbe, it's the terrain. Whatever our culture is doing is wrong. It's the new age, meaning old garbage. And, and, and you hear people talking and it's sort of like a uh, yoga teacher because, because they're just going to say, oh, no, 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 no just, just calm down, calm down, breathe through your nostrils or breathe through one nostril at a time. Like it's all about come, Satan coming like an angel of light. He's just going to say, hey, man, chill. Chill, man. Anyway. I don't like things chill. It's boring. It's just like, you know, and, and I don't mean boring like relaxing. I mean boring, like boring holes through our heads. All right. So, Yuji, come back. God, we need you. We need you. Honestly, honestly. Um, so think about it. That's just one thing, okay? I'm talking pubic hair now. That's only one little thing that you have noticed in your lifetime or your parents, your grandparents never shaved their pubes or your great-grandparents, okay? Only sick people do that. And if they're not sick now, they will be sick in the future because it's not healthy. Not only that, it's suggestive of prepubescence. That's the point. That's nature's point. It's a visible cue, man. You leave that fucker alone. You leave that person alone when they have bald genitalia. You mofo, you leave that thing a fuck alone. Even the animals are smarter than that. All right? Think about the goddamn timeline and bring it back. Be loyal. Have some fucking loyalty. Have, stand up for what's right. Stand up for your time. Stand up for the 80s. Stand up for the music. Stand up for the lyrics. You stupid bozos. You lost it. You